Hello everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Oh, that is some strong lemon and ginger tea. Oh, it's tangy. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to talk sustainability, which I haven't done on my channel before. I'm going to tell you some of my favourite tips to kind of help make your life a little bit more sustainable or make you live a little bit more sustainably. Just small changes that make massive, massive difference that you wouldn't even think about and that you won't notice once you've made the change. Hi guys, so I just quickly wanted to jump in and do a disclaimer because I realised I hadn't done one. Just to say that like, obviously I'm still learning a lot about sustainability and I'm nowhere near perfect when it comes to it. And I can't say that I ever will be, but I feel like every little kind of sustainable step you take will make a difference regardless of how many steps you do decide to do. But yeah, I just think it's a really fun kind of learning curve and I think we could all take it together. But I'm definitely, definitely doing my best to kind of learn a bit more about it and just make those little changes in my everyday life that I can make, you know? And I understand that it's not something that everybody can completely dedicate themselves to. And I'm not saying that I am either, but I'm definitely gonna try and make much more of an effort to consciously kind of live a bit more sustainably and learn more about it and become a bit more aware about it. So yeah. There are so many things that are really, really easy to do that can help you transition into a more sustainable lifestyle and there's loads of little things that I've been doing for so long that I didn't even really think about them being sustainable but they are they are let us get started I'm gonna just talk you through some of the stuff that I like to do and show you as well uh... oh hi good morning welcome to my bathroom where my day begins with a little toothbrushing session wait do you, wait do you hear that what is that sound? Oh, I know what that is. It's the sound of silence because I haven't started running my shower unnecessarily 10 minutes before I take it. And the tap's not running whilst I'm brushing my teeth because I like to switch it off and save water. Do you know what else you can do in the bathroom? Try using more sustainable products. I have currently been trying out Love Beauty and Planet's shampoo, conditioner, and also their face scrub, and I've fallen in love. Not only with their products, but also with their kind of philosophy. Love Beauty and Planet are such an amazing brand. I think it's no secret that the beauty industry is such a wasteful industry when it comes to like packaging. So Love Beauty and Planet are a little bit different to most beauty brands because they are committed to keeping Britain clean, green and beautiful. They've actually collaborated with the Two Minute Beach Clean to create this initiative called the Two Minute Litter Pick. And I actually went on a two minute litter pick with the guys from Love Beauty and Planet the other day. How's it going so far, Tasha Green? What are we doing today? We're gonna do a two hour clean later though, which I'm excited for. It's a good day for it. <laughs> Basically, they're going to be creating these litter picking boards and they're going to be putting them all over London and they're these amazing boards that basically have those like T-Rex claw litter pit lit, bleh, those T-Rex claw litter pit of it. How do you say it? Those T-Rex claw litter picker things you know? And then they have these bags that you just fill up with litter and the bags are even made from recycled tents which is amazing. The kind of theory behind it is that if you're passing by, if you're on your way to work, if you're on a dog walk on a Sunday, whatever, just take two minutes out of your day to pick up a bit of litter um, around your local area to keep it clean and guys, after doing the litter pick the other day, you would be crazy surprised how much litter you can find in just two minutes and if all of us did just that little bit, even once a week, it would make such a huge difference to the planet. Like it would have such a huge impact in, in obviously the, the most positive way. So yeah, I would love to encourage you guys to get involved, take part, download the Beach Clean app as well so you can track like your findings, I guess. To be honest, it became a bit of a competition. It was actually quite fun, especially using those T-Rex floor things. So yeah, I'm gonna try and do it more often. I tend to do it anyway when I go on dog walks because there's always like broken glass and stuff lying around and like sharp cans, which obviously I don't want to harm animals. So yeah, all it would take was just that little small act of love for two minutes out of a day, even if it's just in a week, just pick up some litter around your local area and try and help keep the planet an amazing place because this is our home, this is where we live, this is where our future generations will live and we don't want our actions or lack of action to affect our future generations. I definitely don't anyway because I would feel really bad. <laughs> hey guys, so it's now breakfast time and this is where, hey baby, Look who's at the top of the stairs waiting for mummy. So the next thing I do is obviously I have breakfast. A lot of the time I have smoothies or I make like fresh juices. 
And at this point is another point where we can all be a little bit more sustainable if we like to use straws for our drinks and juices and stuff. There's so many different types of straws you can get. There's like plastic, bamboo, metal. I've got a bamboo one here and a metal one here and you can get all different sizes. I like these chunky ones for smoothies and then you've got like thinner ones for juice. You can get them with the bend in them. And the cool thing is once you have them, you have them and they come with like cleaners and stuff. So you know, there's no there's no worry about them like being dirty or anything. And I just feel like a little bit more bouge when I'm drinking from like these, for example, the gold ones. And the cool thing about these as well is that you can carry them around with you. I think you can get foldable ones as well that you can literally fit on your key ring. So you can carry them out with you even on a day like shopping if you stop and get a juice or a coffee or something like that. Reusable straws, man. Even dad's partial to a reusable straw now, aren't you, dad? Hmm, that's a good idea. Very good idea. And the bamboo ones that I have, I love because they came all the way from the Philippines with me. So they're special. Did you know that? I didn't tell you that, did I? I could just cook out the bamboo and work and give you. Well, now you're just showing off. Dad, I'm struggling a little bit with my nails. Could you open this, please? Thank you. Also, on the subject of drinking smoothies with reusable things, repurposed jars. And I use them as cups. Oh, there was a big lump in there, I didn't blend it properly. I've been doing this for years. I think this is like half a French thing and half because my mum's taught me to. Basically all of my cups pretty much are these. And firstly, they're literally the cutest thing ever. I think they're really nice glasses, but they're all just repurposed jam jars. And you're just making use of stuff that you, you buy all the time. So it's not going to waste. This is probably like a tomato sauce for a pasta, but I really like it for my smoothies. And it's the perfect size. So put your straw in. What are you doing? <laughs> now me and Pierre have had breakfast. He's going a little crazy. It's time to go for a walk, isn't it? It's time to go for a walk. So we're gonna go for a walk and we're gonna pick up some litter. Are we gonna pick up some trash? Uh, are we gonna pick up some trash? Are we gonna pick up some trash? He is excited. Don't know about you guys, but I'm excited. Since having a dog, I did tend to start noticing that they like litter a lot more in public places and parks and stuff like that. Especially because a lot of the time I see broken glass on the floor and stuff like that can, can be damaging to the pup. So yeah, I try my best to just pick up as much as I can when we're out and about and make it fun, make it a competition. See how much you can get in the amount of time that you're out for and you can actually log it on the two minute beach clean app as well which is really cool and then it can get turned into data sent to the government like sent to parliament turned into way bills to actually make a change so yeah you guys should definitely get involved but i'm gonna go on a dog walk and let's go pick some litter it's cold today though alexa what's the temperature at the moment it's six degrees celsius today you can expect a high of seven degrees good thing i've got thermals on and a roll neck then in it <laughs> right let's go Let's go, let's go. Guys, I have a question for you. I'm ready to go, but I have a question for y'all. Have we remembered to switch off all the lights and the mains plugs? Have we remembered? Because that is important. There's something called phantom energy, I believe, that is minimal. It adds up to a lot. If you leave like your laptop charger in or your laptop on standby, the TV on standby, we don't realize, but over time that accumulates to a lot of energy being wasted. So before you leave your house, make sure all the light switches are off, all the main switches are off, like everything that you can switch off, switch it off, girl. Also gonna start taking just a plastic bag that I'll use every time uh, to pick up litter as I'm walking around the park and then I'll just empty it and then take it the next day or the next time I go for a walk. I think that's the way to go with this. I've got your lead, I've got your ball. Should we go to the park? Oh, before I forget, I'm just gonna switch off the light and we can go. Yeah, are you excited to go pick up some rubbish? What happened? Bye. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Someone's excited. So you guys look at this. Just walked out the door and there's literally litter everywhere. Look what's on the floor. Look what's on the floor. Oh no. Oh no. Now it's going in the bin. Also guys, if you have a dog, your dog probably poops a lot, right? I know this one isn't for everyone, but if you can afford it, you can get biodegradable poo bags. Didn't know if you knew that. I didn't know that till recently. They're a little bit more pricey, but your dog poos like numerous times a day. So imagine how much plastic you're putting out into the planet by buying non-biodegradable poo bags. So yeah, if you can, make that change because it makes a huge difference. Doesn't it, PJ? <laughs> He's 
was like, come on, mom, just throw the ball. All right, let's do some ball throwing and litter picking. Oh, somebody didn't win the lottery and they were mad about it. A ticket? Yeah. Not good enough. Disapproved. Literally, we walked through the park for about 10 minutes and this bag is full. It's completely full. And there's so much more litter everywhere. That's also counting the fact that there's certain things I won't pick up with my bare hands. And that's why the litter picking stations are good that um, Love Beauty Planet have provided because they've got the litter picker so you don't actually have to touch anything. There is rubbish everywhere. It makes me so mad. Look bag is completely like completely full this bench was where the litter collection started and since we've come back about 10 minutes later look wild back home at the recycling bin i'll show you guys my finds. <laughs> how can i move this so that <laughs> pretty much everything i found is recyclable <laughs> you guys to do a two minute little bit and just see how much trash you can find because if we all did that for two minutes a day can you actually imagine the impact it would have on the planet it is lunch and we're making a salad i've been ill um for like the last week so basically all i can eat right now is fresh stuff like salads but also it's it's good for you isn't it it's really good to eat like whole based plant foods Ho whole based what am i trying to say Whole grain, whole food. Whole, whole, plant-based. Whole. <laughs> plant-based whole foods. It's got all the nutrients and stuff you need. It's good for you. But did you guys know that it's also better for the environment and for the planet? <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I'll leave some documentaries down below if you guys are interested in more information about this. Even if you switch to like one vegan meal a day, one vegan meal a week, if you don't already eat a plant-based diet, it's going to serve you in so many ways as well as the planet, and it can make a huge difference. And by the way, you can eat much more than just salad um, as a vegan or as somebody who eats plant-based. I'm just choosing to eat this because this is all I can handle right now. <laughs> Bit of a weird one, we've got some bread with tapenade on it, which is basically olive spread, which is weird, olive paste, but David bought this back from Italy and it is amazing. That's my lunch, because that's all I can hack right now, but it's gonna be good and I'm gonna feel energized. Alright guys, so lunch is eaten. It was delicious. I feel really energized. One second, my tea is boiling over. If you've been following me for a while, then you'll know the, how much I love tea. I'm about to go out and do some food shopping, but I want to grab a tea. But because it's winter, the daylight's going to go, so I want to take it with me. Of course, I'm going to take it in a reusable cup. I love this one. It's from Stojo. It's cool because it... Uh, hold on. Basically, once you're done with it, it folds down to that, which is so cool. But yeah, another tip would be to, first of all, make your own coffee and tea if you have the time and then take it in a takeaway cup like this that you can reuse over and over again. Or if you're gonna go and buy a coffee from any kind of chain or coffee shop or whatever, take a reusable cup with you and just ask them to fill it up because a lot of the rubbish you'll find out on the streets nowadays is coffee cups and those plastic lids which obviously don't decompose, they just stay there forever. And imagine some people drink like two or three coffees a day. So if you can have your own reusable cup, you're saving on waste massively. And also if you're gonna take water with you, which I do all the time, just take a reusable bottle instead of buying a plastic one when you're out and about. And if you do buy a plastic one, try and reuse it as much as you can until it goes a bit smelly, which is what I do. But yeah, you can get like BPA free bottles now. And I think the best option is a uh, stainless steel bottle. So I've ordered one, it's actually coming today or tomorrow because all my other ones are plastic and I'm just like, yeah, no plastic. And the stainless steel ones are cool as well because you can also put your tea and coffee in there and it will keep it warm. And if you put something cold in there, it will keep it cold. So yeah, I'm gonna make my tea and then we're gonna go food shopping and we're gonna do that sustainably as well. Haha, <laughs> psych, y'all thought I was getting in the car, didn't y'all? Get in the train, mate. Public transport. <laughs> Austin Kingsland now. Obviously getting the train is essentially like a giant um, carpool 
So you're saving on emissions and stuff. More of you are using the same mode of transport. You can also walk to places if you can reach them like that. And it's, you know, if you want to and you can. You can also ride a bike. And if you have to get a car, try and do carpooling or get in an Uber pool instead of just driving on your own. So now we're at a food market because we want to avoid getting fruit and veg wrapped in plastic packaging. And also it's actually cheaper, so it's beneficial for you as well. And of course, I've got my reusable bags so that we don't take any plastic bags home with us. Let's get shopping. I'm ready now. <laughs> looks good, looks good. Free for a pound, mate. Do you know how cheap that is for asparagus? And it's not in a plastic bag. Guys, honestly, not only is everything cheaper or more value for money and like obviously a lot more sustainable in terms of like most things aren't in plastic packaging and stuff. It's actually just such a nice surprise. Like look at the colour, the vibrancy, like obviously there's energy and people in the market and the sun's out so it's just it's such a nice experience. A bunch of this for a pound, purple kale. Wig season, what do you reckon? Which one? I think that one. <laughs> Two bags full of groceries and not one bit of plastic. All of this was 11 quid. Oh, hi. <laughs> Been home for about 10 minutes. Just made myself a cup of tea because it is blitz outside. It is so cold and it's actually kind of cold in the flat as well. But instead of putting the heating on because there's no need, I'm going to uh, gonna take this off. It's so cold. And then I'm going to take this one off as well. I'm going to keep the thermal on. Put my pajamas over the top of that. Pajamas on. Yeah, green, because Tasha green. No, I'm joking. This was an accident, guys, but kind of here for it. <laughs> Obviously, pretty cozy with the thermal on, but it is very cold today. This is such a no-brainer. Just put your dressing gown on. Just wear a couple more layers. Double up on some socks. These are from MS, they're amazing. They're so warm. Wait for it. Oh, oh cramp. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who doesn't love being cozy? Like, excuse the state of my dressing gown, by the way. There's nothing nicer than when you're cold, like getting all snuggled up and warm rather than having this artificial heating that like dries out your skin, dries out your hair and essentially dries out the planet. Whack a few layers on, get snuggly, enjoy it because it is actually the best thing ever. Ugh. Hello everyone. A little birdie told me, aka I read somewhere on the internet, that it's actually more eco-friendly to use the dishwasher. Do you know how happy this makes me? Obviously this one's not for everyone, but if you do have a dishwasher, which I've been lucky enough to have for the last year of my life, apparently using a dishwasher only uses half a gallon of water. For me this is great because I like the dishwasher because I know that it uses hot water and keeps, keeps the dishes like extra clean or gets them extra clean. And I'm definitely somebody who leaves the tap running whilst I wash the dishes. So this one for me is amazing because it means I can be a little bit lazy in the evening and let the machine kind of do its thing. But I'm also helping the planet by not using up way more water than I need to to get my dishes clean. Yeah. I need to put some salt in here, I think. I'm still new to it. I still don't know what I'm doing with the dishwasher. All right, guys, I am just about ready to go to bed. I am exhausted. I need to take my makeup off still, but just remembered one last uh, one last tip for you guys, and this is a simple one. By the way, the bottle that I ordered came. How amazing is that? So the last tip is basically anything that you like to do that would involve paper, so like making notes, reading, stuff like that. Just try and do it electronically. Save paper. You can either do that on a laptop, on an iPad, on a phone. And of course, there's a Kindle for reading. And honestly, this is amazing. It's a game changer. You can obviously have so many big books on here at one time. So if you get bored of one, you can start another one. If you're traveling, you can take just this and you have, you could literally have thousands and thousands of books on here. Not only that, the books are cheaper on here. Once you've got the Kindle, most books are actually cheaper if you're buying them on Kindle than paper version. And, you know, not buying 
books after books after books is actually great for the planet. You're saving trees, guys. So, yeah. That is my final tip for all of the kind of sustainable things that you guys can do every single day that are just kind of part of your daily routine, your daily life. Just those simple little switches you can make to show small acts of love that will greatly, greatly affect the planet in a positive way. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know some of your daily tips if I missed some, because I'm sure I did. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm exhausted. I will see you all, I will see you all soon. Love you.